I was just turning 13 over the summer and um, basically it was quite a scary experience really. The first operation was they had to deflate my lung and take out a rib and the second one involved actually putting the metal rod into my spine. So, and I was in bed for about two, three weeks and then I had um, <coughs> the plaster jacket for about six months. I mean, I can walk, I can run, I can do anything, so it's not a problem. I'm just glad that Eddie's can like just have the jackets and not have to have the operation. I see a lot of children who've gone past the first year of being babies and then little, little toddlers with severe deformities. Sometimes they come at the age of three, sometimes four, and a few come much later but all their curves have been. In those, I use the plaster technique as a means of a more effective form of bracing, because braces come off and then put on again. Whereas a plaster jacket can be moulded to improve the body shape, contain the curve, and then when it is sufficiently corrected, I give them removable braces. But every child's parent, I, every child in that category, the parents know that they will have to have spinal fusion. You can improve them, but you can't kill them. We saw um, a consultant who wanted to see Laura walking, um, so we had to wait a year. It was after that year that uh, we had a referral to Miss Meta here. Laura was diagnosed then as having scoliosis and uh, then really had to go into a plaster cast to correct the curvature of the spine. And how had the curve progressed in, in that year that you'd had to wait? It was deteriorating rapidly. Um, our own GP then could see it and by then her, I couldn't feel her spine straight down as with a normal child or myself. It would veer to one side as though it was hidden under the hump. Had it been left a few more weeks, she would have needed a big operation. But fortunately, Miss Meta was able to correct it. The day Sarah was born, she was born with dislocated lips, which could have actually been picked, the scoliosis could have actually been picked up from there, but it wasn't. And it wasn't picked up until the age of two. We had trouble trying to get a seen to by several hospitals, and we was eventually referred to see Miss Meta, who informed us that she had a a very bad scoliosis and needed being a treatment immediately. What happens if scoliosis is left untreated? It increases as the child grows. And then it becomes such a stiff and rigid deformity that no amount of plasters or braces do any good. And so we have to wait till the child has grown and of a sufficient size that we can then operate before puberty starts. I was very upset. In, in fact, I went back a couple of times 
because they are my <laughs> GP and I have told them that Ed is his school <laughs> and if it wasn't for the fact that they didn't believe me or they didn't understand anything about scoliosis, he would have been in his third jacket by now instead of his first. The point of intervention has to be much earlier than the ones they think is, 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 is necessary. To wait and watch for the cob angle to increase is not treatment. These doctors have just got to pick it up early and take notice. I mean, it only takes a second to look at a child's back, but it can take, you know, just ruin the rest of their lives if it's not detected. To see that, that if a spine has been helped to grow straight rather than forcibly corrected, then that spine will remain straight. Play football, play volleyball, tennis, basketball, and like in PE, like um, athletics. I like doing running. Uh, rat, all he does kind of all stuff. the activities at, at his uh, physical, edu uh, physical education. Um, he does swimming as well. Yeah. I have. I have. The present count is 88 children who have grown straight and they've been followed up for an average of about nine years after they grew straight. We never realised that Mark was going to come out of Blaster when he did, and he was taken out of Blaster so he could go on a family holiday to Spain when he was 30 months old. And when we come back, we were told he didn't need another Blaster jacket, and that after 10 jackets he had actually... Uh, we turned the corner and his back was growing straight, mm. and that was the last time he was in Blaster. We bought a bottle of champagne on the way home. <laughs> Like winning the polls. In the very early stages, scoliosis can be cured by the child's growth if we take appropriate early steps to do that. I don't think Miss Better really could have done any more than she has done, astonishingly brilliantly. I think anyone who comes to her really are the luckiest people. All of us are now conditioned to believing that once a child has a scoliosis, it's there forever. So we have to change our thinking and see that and and entertain another idea which is that scoliosis increases with growth because we allow it to. I cannot thank Mrs Mehta for what she's done for him. She has done so much. It's a miracle. Looking now at your 88 children who've grown straight, mm -hmm. how does that make you feel? Good. Happy. And, uh, and hopeful that they can persuade others who treat spinal deformities to look again at the possibility of curing scoliosis, not just in infants but also in adolescents.